y'all welcome to a new video my name is mika for those who are new welcome back to my returning subscribers don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed so in today's video i am going to be going to a cocktails and conversation event um with tyler perry oh my god y'all i am so excited to go like i registered for this event like i don't know maybe two months ago so i am super 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 excited hopefully my battery lasts of course when i get upstairs to vlog the dag on battery is at two bars so i don't know if i'll be able to do the full like get ready um chit chat or whatever whatever i'm gonna be doing so yeah so god dang these elbows are ashy like i literally put like some lotion on and it's still ashy as fuck oh my god well it's still ashy i don't know somebody said like it, there's like cursing like the first like what is it seven or ten minutes of the video like youtube will flag so I'm going to have to edit that up. But I am going to put like some, I got some coconut oil. So I'm going to put that on my elbows. Because apparently a vino ain't strong enough to get that ash off my elbow. I don't know why. But y'all, I haven't really been like vlogging like as much uh, recently. I just kind of been, I mean, I know the weather. Like I've been so, I haven't been feeling my best. Um, between that and my auto autoimmune disease and I kind of like been on the go so I just really haven't been feeling like making that much content really I just been kind of resting and as you can hear I'm still kind of like congested now so I have an appointment with my allergy doctor tomorrow and so we gonna see you know uh, if they need, think they need to change my medication or if I need to go back on allergy shots, who knows? But we gonna see. We gonna see how they go, y'all. We gonna see. But I don't know. That might be like in a little separate video. I say it since I'm still new and everything that I think I'm gonna go with is my youtube strategy is i'm gonna put out like shorter videos so i want to kind of keep the videos around like 20 ish minutes give or take somewhere between but anyway i want to try to start keeping my videos within about 15 to 30 minutes um and just because i am a new vlogger so um, I don't have like a strong, um, strong supporters at this time. Like I'm just new to, um, YouTube. I have more, um, I have more supporters on my Instagram than I am a newbie when it comes to like YouTube. So I figure I can put out more content, just make my videos, um, shorter and just make my vlog videos around like a, a certain event that i'm that i'm going to whatever event because as a content creator and an influencer here in atlanta i do get the opportunity to kind of go on a lot of uh go to a lot of different events here around in atlanta so i go to enough stuff to kind of separate out my content so that's pretty much what i'm gonna be doing if you have been watching um my vlogs and if you notice, you know, start to notice that they are shorter. That's the reason why I just want to make shorter videos. So that way, like, all the new people, they can kind of, like, get to know me better. Um, I know for me, like, if I'm watching somebody, like, new that I've never watched before, I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know if I really want to see this, like, 50-minute video. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, and then to some content, I can get feedback too uh, on the content if I start making like more specific 
content like geared towards like certain events or certain things then i can get uh, more feedback from my supporters on what type of videos that like so with the vlogs it's a little bit of you know everything you know in the vlogs so yeah so i'm just gonna focus on kind of getting ready i don't want to do like a whole bunch of I swear I keep hearing noises, y'all. I don't want to do a whole bunch of, like, chit-chatting or whatever. Just because, like I said, we're trying to get the videos, like, down. And my battery is about to die, too. So, I probably am going to vlog off my phone. This is, um... Well, this man, like, a very, like... They want you to wear business wear and all that kind of jazz. I, I don't want to, like, be pulling out my camera, like, vlogging. So, most likely, I'm going to vlog off my phone. So, I'll be keeping... keeping letting y'all see the event um once i get there so i'll tap in with y'all later all right guys so i have finished getting dressed so let me come out soon so y'all can see all right so i pull out the closet i have this old um dress that i actually got from fashion nova last time i wore this was a couple years ago i got the shoes are Jessica Simpson. I'm just doing a pearl earring. And then I gotta throw on my bracelet. I have a bracelet that's a bangle and it has pearls at the end. And then I'm just doing this band. I don't wanna do gold because I only have a gold band. And then again, I am wearing the um Rihanna MVP liquid lipstick. And I have said like this is like maybe like my third time wearing it. And oh y'all. Oh, I'm so sorry. This, ooh, this mirror dusty. <laughs> Let me put the camera on me like this. Okay, so I have been wearing like Rihanna uh, MVP liquid velvet matte lipstick. And I can't say the lipstick been holding. She been holding. And I've been getting some good compliments on this lipstick too. So, yo, 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 yo. Y'all see how girl yes all right so i just gotta get my purse together and let's see what perfume am i gonna put on today i think because this is a you know a special occasion night maybe i think i am going to do i think i'm gonna do black opium y'all yeah it's giving black opium night so i'm gonna put a little bit of that on you know, for the oh, I'm gonna kind of get on my hand. Am I spraying this? No, it's always supposed to be going. Yeah, it's it's giving it's giving black opium night. Yes. All right, so yeah, so I'm about to. Oop, y'all, battery going dead. I'll talk to y'all later. Bowls. If I say bowls. dedicated solely to advancing racial wealth equity to accelerate the pace of black wealth accumulation and address systematic underinvestment in black communities. Its national efforts have committed more than 250 million. Bloomberg's Shartia Brantley. So we do have a lot of ground to cover, especially yeah, sure. with that amount of time, so I want to dive in. Okay. You know, Atlanta has been dubbed Hollywood of the South, right? And just a hub now for entertainment. What has been your role in contributing to that? Everything. <laughs> no, no, I, you know, I, when I came here in 1991, a 
for freaking to just hurt me too. <laughs> I, I, I had no idea that this would be the place where I would, would call home, but I went back my Hyundai and moved right back because I, I this place has a heart that beats for black people. It beats for dreamers, you know, the home of Dr. King, if you are a person that is a dreamer and, and you have a, a work ethic and you want to make change. There are so many things that are valuable in this city to make sure that you have the construct and the foundation to do that. So that's what I found when I moved here. And um, music was big here then. And when I started, you know, Turner was the, the um, Turner Broadcasting was the big uh, entertainment hub here, but then, then I started television, and I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I got the very first tax credit here for my show House of Pain that ever happened, and I think that because of uh, leadership and the go current governor and governors before who opened up the doors for those tax credits, it has opened the floodgates for people to come to Atlanta to uh, thrive in, in the entertainment. Good Hollywood by being unapologetic and laser focused yeah. on your audience. How has that served you? I remember when I was coming up, people would be like, oh, what are you going to do to cross over? Well, you, you know me very, very well, and we have this connection and this shorthand that, uh, that has served very well all these years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, representation is so important, yeah. right? It's so important to see yourself represented on the big screen, on the small screen. You figured it out. Why haven't other studios done the same? Because, well, for me, I'm like a lot of the others, huge studios are run by CEOs. I'm, I'm an owner, like I'm an owner, I'm there day in and day out, every check that goes out, I know that I earn the money to pay the bill and I know what the bill is, right? So I, I'm, I, I have a more of a hands-on approach of, of what's happening on the ground. Um, to be able to lead in diversity and have more hires of, you know, women of color, uh, well, black people in general, you know, LGBTQ, everyone is represented equally at the studio. And that was just because I was on the ground, you know, all of us moves pushing in the same direction, saying this is what we need. And here's what I found in this business. I didn't find so much racism when I started hiring these different uh, departments. What I found was people hire who they know. Mm -hmm. If I hired a white person to run uh, what department, most of the people they hired were white. If I hired a gay person to run a department, most of the people they hired, they, they're gay, because they were all coming from these different communities. So I, I realized that, I'm like, oh, I see what this is. This isn't necessarily the people are, are I don't want to be bothering anybody else. It's just these are the people that I'm comfortable with. These are the people that I know. These are the people that I want to work with. So when you have that kind of ecosystem and you, you make, I make sure they're all crossing and forced together to really get to know each other. And if you came to Tyler Perry Studios, I dare you to put it up against any studio in Hollywood and see the diversity. It is it is beautiful to see, and I'm so proud of that. Very proud of that every day. Been underestimated, especially in the beginning. Um, how has that served you? Being, is it sort of a superpower now? And it is, it, well, not anymore because people know who I am, but, <laughs> but in the beginning, it, it is a superpower. Don't walk into a room giving your resume. I mean, if you try to get a job, of course, get your resume. But I mean, if you've done all this stuff, well, I did this and I did this and I did. You're leading with ego. Step, step away from that. I used to get so frustrated because I'd walk into these meetings, and here I am, six foot six, black man. Most of the men I'm walking in the meeting with are not black, and they're much shorter than I am. So I had to find a way to hold on to all that I am and walk into this room and get what I needed out of this situation. And when I would sit in these rooms and have these conversations, I was often thinking. You don't know I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that, I did that. And that voice in the back of my head, which I know to be the voice of God, is like, shut up. Don't say a word. Because one of the best deals I ever made was somebody telling me, they asked me how, Dara Matt Black was telling me about the movie. They said, I said, well, how much do you want the movie to do? He's like, well, if it does $20 million, that's great. Black, if a black movie did $20 million in 2005, that was really great for this particular company. And I said, okay, first weekend, he laughed, right? Diary opened at 21 million the first weekend, blew his mind. But by then I had already made the deal. So so I was like, okay, I didn't go and say, ah, this movie's gonna do blah, blah, blah. Nope, 
That's okay. Well, here's the deal I'd like to have. Ownership is going to be very important to me. So well, I'll pay for half of it, and you pay for the other half. Would you do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I will do that. Okay. So I wrote that. It was only $5.4 million to do the movie. I think it did about $50 million. 2.4, I wrote the check. They wrote the check for 2.4. Didn't believe in that it would do well, so they took that other 2.4, sold half of that to BET. So they had no belief that Diary would do well, but I knew because I had been out here with us. <laughs> Traveling the country, seeing us everywhere, sold out shows, top to bottom, could not get another seat in the room. So I learned in that moment to not try and impress upon people all the things that I've done. I've learned to just sit there and say, well, how do we make a deal? They never would have given me that deal had they known the power of the people that was with me. I sat in that room as one person and alone. They didn't know the millions of people that were in my back, right? So that is what is important. When you have those folks at your back, you don't have to walk around screaming about it. Just go in there and make a great deal. Don't be underestimated. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right, guys. So, ooh, my hair look a little frazzled. All right, so I just have made it back home from Tyler Perry. Um, It was so inspirational, guys. Like, I am just so happy that... I was able to be there to witness this. Like, I'm just so thankful that I was able to be put in a room. It was great. And you all have seen, like, the clips and stuff. Ooh, let me turn the light on. I'm in here trying to change now, y'all. But y'all would, would have seen the clips and stuff that I have um, for... Tyler Perry and for the show and all that and it was it was simply amazing y'all like it was so good like I really enjoyed it thought it was really good but I am about to take off my makeup and put on my lounge clothes and try to like do some rest and relaxation I might make me a little toddy my my Allergies are still kicking my tail. I'm just so thankful that I have a uh, <laughs> I have an appointment tomorrow with the allergy doctor. So hopefully I can get some medicine to give me some relief. But I'm gonna kick it. We're in bay and we're going to just kind of do some rest and relaxation um before I call it a night. But I just want to kind of like check in with you guys and just kind of just you know let y'all know what I thought like about it and it was just I'm just so glad so thank you guys so much for tuning into this vlog a conversation with Tyler Perry thank you so much for watching this video a conversation with Tyler Perry um if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video